open my eyes in this season. I want you to pray that short prayer or make a declaration to yourself in your homes, wherever you are. Father, open my eyes in this season. Let my eyes be open. Let my eyes be open this season in the name of Jesus. And we're reading from Isaiah 45, verse 3, from the Amplified Version. Isaiah 45, verse 3. It says, I will give you the treasures of darkness, the hoarded treasures. The what? The hoarded treasure. There are some treasures that they are, they are, they are kept, they hoard them. It says, I will give you treasures of darkness, the hoarded treasure. So this season, God will release to his children treasures that have been hoarded. Let me give you an example of a treasure that was hoarded and how God opens eyes. In Genesis 21, verse 14, I read to verse 14 to 16. Genesis 21, verse 14. The Bible says, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Agai. This story was when Sarah told Abraham that your son and Isaac cannot share the same house. They can't be heirs together. Therefore, you have to let the bond woman and her son to live. So Abraham cried and God told him that do as your wife has said. So he says, and he gave it unto a guy, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba. I'll go back to that word, wilderness of Bathsheba. Verse 50 says, and the water was spent in the bottle, and she, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs, and she went and sat, and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow's hot. For she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him, and lifted up her voice and wept. Abraham gave, him, gave her water. She went, and suddenly the water had finished, and she was afraid the child was going to die. She left the child in a place and went to another area. And all she could do was to weep. The first thing I want you to understand that when a guy, water was out, and she was in the wilderness. It says in the wilderness of Beersheba. In that area, there was fountain of water it's almost unknown because it's a dry place. And wells were rare, which meant that there was no hope for her seeing a place to get water. Not only that, only those people that, are, that live in that country, they are the only ones that know where their wells are. Because they, they have been known, is their policy that in that area, you must cover your well, your well. So everywhere there's well, it can't be seen by anybody. The well is only known to the insiders. Strangers were not invited to come and share in their well. So when she was going all around in, in the wilderness, thirsty, she was unable to see water. And a guy lost hope. When she lost hope, the next thing she could do was to lift her voice and to cry. All she did was to cry. I'll move forward in Genesis 21, verse 17. Genesis 21, verse 17, the next verse. The Bible says, And God heard the voice of the Lord. And God heard the voice of the Lord. The Lord here is Ishmael. And as most people used to think that this story, that Ishmael was a baby, no. Ishmael at this time was over 19 years old. 
So he was not a baby. Ishmael had stayed with his father, Abraham. I've seen how Abraham deal with God. I've seen Abraham kneel down and pray. I've seen when Abraham has issues and went to God and God resolved the problem. So whilst his mother was weeping, whilst his mother was weeping, Ishmael was speaking to God. And when, God, when Abraham was leaving, God spoke to him. He said, I will take care of your son. And I will make him a, a great nation. I believe strongly that Ishmael was told already by the father, you'll be great. I can imagine Ishmael where he was, speaking to God and saying, Lord, the God of my father Abraham, you have promised my father that his seed will be great. You have told my father that I will be a great nation. Therefore, I cannot die. That was why when verse 14 was read, it says, and God heard the voice of the lad, not the mother. God heard the voice of Ishmael. Because the mother was crying, the mother was not praying. When you have problems and all you do is to complain and cry, God cannot hear you. While the mother was crying, Ishmael was speaking to God. So when God responded, God never spoke to Haggai. God sent angel. Let's read it, continue. Let me continue 17. And God heard the voice of the Lord. And the angel of God called to Haggai out of heaven and said unto her, What hailed thee, Haggai? Fear not, for God had heard the voice of the Lord where he is. God wasn't dealing with Agar. God was dealing with the son. He said, stop crying. Ishmael and God have finished the transaction. Hallelujah. He says, arise. Lift up the lad. And hold him in thy hand. For I will make him a great nation. The next verse shows us again the prayer of Ishmael to God. I strongly believe Ishmael was speaking to God, Lord, my mother is crying. Her voice is so loud. She's disturbing me. I'm having rest here. Just please open her eyes to see. Lord, open her eyes to see. Because verse 19 says, And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and lifted up the bottle with water, and filled the, the bottle with water, and gave the lad to drink. God answered the prayer of Ishmael. Oh Lord, open my eyes to see the hoarded treasures in the land. The wells were there, but were covered. She was crying, but the provision was around the corner. She could not see. So instead of her just to be hitting her head and feeling hopeless and afraid, all she needed to have done was what Ishmael do, did. Lord, in the scarcity, in this wilderness, Lord, open my eyes to see opportunities that no one is seeing. Hidden, hoarded treasures. Let's go back to our anchor scripture, Isaiah 45, verse 3. Isaiah 45, verse 3, in the Amplified. I will give you the treasures of darkness, the hoarded treasures, Bashemba people known for first class hoarding. I decree over everyone listening to me right now. Every blessing that belongs to you that is hoarded in the land. Every blessing, every treasure that God has, has your name on it. But men has covered them, hidden them. I decree in the name of Jesus. They are uncovered. In the name of Jesus. 
So he says, I will give you treasures of darkness, the higher treasures, and the hidden riches. Hidden riches of secret places. Hidden riches of secret places. I want to talk about secret places. In this season, is God will be doing significant things. He'll be one opening our eyes to see hoarded treasures. Then he also be giving to us the riches in secret places. Let's look at Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 6. Luke 5, 4 to 6. Secret places where no one expects to see anything coming out. Verse 4 says, And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep. This is the story of Jesus Christ when he met Simon at the boat, used their boat briefly to preach, and um, he didn't want to let them go. He wanted to bless them. So he said, launch out into the deep. Launch out into the deep. And let down your net for a drought. And Simon answered, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Launch out into the deep. The word the deep, there are blessings that you will not see anything on the surface. They won't look like it. But it requires you to go deep. When you are in obedience to God, when even nothing looks as if nothing can come out, you suddenly obey God and you go what? You go deep. They, had, they, had, they went everywhere fishing. And if you're a fisherman, you understand that during the day, during the day, the fish come up for sun. So as a professional fisherman, you will get fish on the surface. And you will see them where they are clustering from your boat because it's the day. They won't be under. There are blessings that on the surface does not look like a blessing. There are doors that God wants to open that by sight, you will not see it coming. Only the master can reveal the secret places to you. He told them, even though it doesn't look like it, I want you to go deep. It's until you enter deep before you discover that, wow, wow, wow. Something big is happening here. Before you discover that there, there, there are multiple of fishes hiding in that secret place. I pray for someone. Ideas and businesses that on the surface will look like nothing. But God, by his mercy, will give you an instruction. He will tell you, launch deep. Go deeper. And as you launch deep, there will be a great harvest. There will be a great harvest in the name of Jesus. They said nothing. We have told all day long, nothing. There's no fish. But God was telling them, no, there's never a scarcity of fish. It's just that they are hiding. Oh, there's no money. Everybody's broke. <laughs> they, did not, they didn't set the printing press on fire. Neither have they closed the vault of the banks or the CBN. Amen? It's just that like the money is hiding. All you need is for God to open your eyes to what, to, what you press and the money will begin to look for you. I decree about someone here. 
and everyone listen to me now, right now, that every riches in secret places shall be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. I said, the God will reveal blessings beyond your imagination. No more scarcity. I said, no more scarcity. In the name of Jesus. So, God, number one, will bless you and release other treasures. It will hand over to you blessings of secret places. Hide out of money. Hide out buildings that are hidden. Then, number three, it will give you hidden riches. Say hidden riches. Hidden riches. Matthew 17, 27. Matthew 17, 27. Here was when they came to Jesus Christ and, and they asked him that, um, are we to pay tax? And um, he said, well, we have to do well, obey the law. The seven says, notwithstanding, lest we shall offend them, Go down to the sea and cast and hook. You can see the difference here. The first one, it was a net that, it, that, that was sent out. A net. And the net caught multitude of fishes that the net broke. There are blessings that come huge. That when you, when you discover it, you know that this is big. But hidden riches here, it says you don't need a big net. All you need is a hook. And take up the fish that first cometh up. And when thou art opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and thee. The money in the mouth of that fish was able to pay his tax and pay the tax of everyone that was with him. Just one fish. The fish is something small that you can say what can possibly come out of this this small business, SME, small and medium enterpri enterprises. What can come out of this? This, this is, uh, can this sustain anyone? But unknown to many is called hidden riches. Riches are hiding inside. The fish is underestimated. God will give someone an underestimated business. Oh, someone will catch that revelation. Billions of people are not looking at. They think, what, what is this? This is small. What? I mean, nothing. What can, how, how much can you make from this? There's a particular restaurant we went to some time ago. Nobody goes there just for brunch and stuff. So when they said, ah, we saw a notice there. They said they were closing down for renovation for six months or nine months. I said, how is it possible that a company will close down for six months, nine months, just to do renovation? Restaurant. What do we do? When we go there, we don't spend, how much do you spend? The brunch, eat, maybe sandwiches, drinks. So, yeah, so I was wondering. Like, my mind kept, and, I, and in, in that restaurant, you see so many Lebanese, you know, working there. I said, how are these people? And you close everybody down? What will they do? How will they sustain that? How much will they so I, just, I, just, I just left my mind. I said, this small restaurant, I just passed. Some months later, I discovered something. Just come and talk to someone. Few blocks away from that, resta that restaurant is a, a high rise building apartment that belonged to a, a, an oil company. 
That building apartment has well over 50 apartments. And this restaurant is as one the contract, catering contract for that building to feed them money till night. Every staff, every guest for money till night. Unknown to me, as they look so small, they were sitting on million dollar contracts. Everyone that saw them saw, oh, this restaurant, what they just, why, why, why they have so many white people running about? Unknown to them, in that fish, a, a small business in your immense eyes was a coin, was a, a heavy breakthrough, heavy business going on inside the fish. I said one more time, God will send you your own fish. Yeah. That when people see, they will be wondering, no, what's this? Just, just a small, what's, what's it? No, no big. Unknown to them, inside, it's called hidden riches. Riches that the crowd cannot see. In this season, we said number one, God will give you hoarded treasure. That's what is, Lord, open my eyes to see. Because that blessing is being covered. They're hiding it. There are things that God wants you to benefit from, but men are hiding it. There are informations that will lift you up, will push you forward in your career, but men will not tell you. Opportunities are coming that has been kept in secret. Maybe in your office, there's a promotion that's about to go, go on. And people have heard, they don't want anybody to, to know, so they don't apply. So, in this season, God will begin to open eyes, open your eyes to hoarded treasure. Yeah. At the same time, secret riches will be released in secret places. So, every riches in secret places shall be revealed to you. Like, no one saw what was happening in the deep. No man can see what happens in the deep of the waters. You can only see the surface, but there's a God that sits in the deep. In the surface, there was nothing. But inside, inside, there was something heavy. Suddenly, you see some businesses people are going into. People want to wonder what's here. There's nothing here. It's just a... And everyone will keep quiet. It's called chop and claim out. You don't want too much noise. You don't want people to, to come and rush and uh, enjoy your, 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 your piece of cake. Every secret place that has your riches inside, God will reveal them to you. In the name of Jesus. And the last one is hidden riches. Father, give me my fish. Give me my fish. Remember the miracle of the 5,000. Few fish, few loaves. Fed 5,000 people. That's a, that's a hidden riches. No one could look. They would look at, is this all you have? This is too small. It can't do anything. I decree in this new season, God will embarrass you with blessings. Yeah. Let's see why God spoke these things in Isaiah 45, verse 3. He says, I will give you treasures of darkness, the hoarded riches, and the hidden riches of secret places, so that you may know that it is I. Some things will happen in your life this season, it will be unquestionable that this is God at work. So that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you, Cyrus the Great, by your name. The Lord will show you that he is your great provider. He will reveal himself to you as the Almighty. This is you are entering the best seasons of your life. Where God's favor and his mercy will be 
uncomparable. And this is the time to be connected to Christ the more. If you, if you follow all, all this testimony, one thing was common was there was an encounter with God. Ishmael spoke to God an encounter. Ishmael spoke to God. Simon at the boat had a conversation with Jesus. That conversation provoked hidden secret places to be revealed to him. The other, the last one, they came and they spoke to Jesus. The disciples came again and spoke to Jesus again. And he unveiled to them where to get the hidden riches. In this season, as you begin to speak to God, God will begin to unveil secret things to you. It's not the time to follow the route of a guy and cry and complain. No. No. It's time to speak to God. And I want to invite everyone that is going to connect to Jesus Christ. Because he's the one that has the key in his hand. It's him. Hoarded, hoarded, hoarded blessing, treasures, is in his hand. Hidden, hidden, hidden one, hidden riches is in his hand. The secret place is in his hand. All you need to connect to him. And he will open your eyes. In this season, my eyes are open in this season. The Lord will open every eyes in the name of Jesus. And as you connect to Christ today, if you're not yet saved, you're not born again, as you connect to Jesus Christ, as he enters into your heart, your eyes will be open. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, I surrender all. Come into my heart. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Give me a new beginning. Give me a fresh start. In Jesus' name. As you pray that prayer, he has helped you and has entered into your heart in the name of Jesus. And as if, if you are giving your life to Christ, please send us a message either on Facebook or on Instagram or send us a mail. Let us know what the Lord has done for you and we will follow you back and send you resources to be able to grow in the Lord, materials that will be a blessing to you to establish you in faith in Jesus' name. And your best seasons are just starting in the name of Jesus.